Hi everyone, welcome to this Wednesday Runes reading for this week, July 10th till next week, July 16th. Are you ready? Let's see what Odin has in store for us this week. Let's begin. Okay, first we have Fehu. Now, Fehu is the room that brings good news, happiness, and wealth. Also, it represents new creation, birth, harvest, and something new. It also talks about your um, soul uh, growing and moving higher with your spirituality. Love. You will meet someone and it's going to be an important meeting. There's going to be love, happiness in your relationship, and maybe a birth, money, wealth, success some money will come your way it's gonna help you to get out of your um, financial problem work there might be a new job coming it's gonna be good for you there might be a raise you might also um, start a new business Success will come for you. Health. Good health. Healing. It's looking good for you. Okay, the next one. It's Algiz. Now, this is the rune that represents spiritual evolution and mental one that we have. It tells you that you have to find balance in everything. And it's also important not um, to, do, to just look one way. To not only go only to the positive side or the negative side but stay in between. Also, it tells you that the obstacle on our path help us to make good choice. And if we slip, then we have to go back and take the right path as much as we need to. It's also a rune that means protection. Love. Real passion find its balance in a good mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual relationship. If something is missing, well, you will have to find it. First, find what is missing, and then uh, try to bring some in your life money um, again you will have to try to stay in the middle in your budget so meaning that don't overspend but also don't keep it all for you or to put aside so pay what you have to pay but you can maybe treat yourself a little but not as much as you would like okay um, also budget is very important work either you can work 
more than everyone else or maybe you just love to work it's good but be careful not to work too much or to put your work first keep some place for your family health you're lucky to have a good health if you're suffering right now you will have to find the best thing to help your body recover and heal from what you're going through right now can also mean if you need some help go seek for professional help sometimes it might not be a lot but uh, maybe just a little tip from them can help you and make a big difference okay so the last one for this week it's Dagaz now this room talks about a breakthrough some transformation it's also a spiritual room that bring you to the extreme positive and negative and it also tells you to find balance in everything that you do and also to stay a little just a tiny line more on the positive side if you can of course depending on what you're going through it tells you that you need to move forward to discover new things okay love you are in an era where change seems inevitable. You will have to do some action to make your relationship move and find the best solution for you. If you think that the worst is at your door, well then open that door and see by yourself if it's that much frightening or bad for you money either you're satisfied of your situation and don't want to move forward or you're not satisfied but you don't want to take some risk because you're afraid well if you don't move you will get nothing more so it's time to do maybe some investment and make things um, move to make them work now of course if you're investing always consult someone that knows what they're doing and do some research also if you don't want to invest maybe put some money aside just to make sure that if you need money you will have some work it's not good right now and you're not completely completely satisfied you could have better but you will have to do some things and take some action to make things move if you stay in your own little world you won't be able to open doors to new opportunities so stop telling yourself that you're okay like you are and maybe try to make a little move of course always research and make sure that you're not moving um, blindly health maybe you will suffer from a sickness that you already know it's time to do some research about it to discover what brings you to this state of mind and that brings you back to this sickness so maybe make a list and for example um, 
you're feeling stressed, but why? Is it your work, your family? Uh, is it money? Or, um, or anything else? Also, try to find out, for example, what does um, it makes to your emotional state? Are you feeling um, happy, sad, uh, anything like it? Uh, write it down and maybe it will help you discover um, the little tiny things that make you feel this way. And it will be easier for you to treat it. Also, if you can't, go seek professional help. Very important. Remember also that um, if you want to heal your mental, you will have to heal your physical body too, because both of them are related and they work together. So if one is doing well and not the other, well, try to find the problem, treat it, and then it will help you feel really better and well balanced too will be easier for you so thank you for joining me this was this week rune reading i wish you all a happy and blessed odin's day and a wonderful rest of the week thank you